Amen. What's your name? My name's Jake. Jake. So are you kind of semi, semi, semi boss? I guess. Uh, I don't or know. Full I'm boss. No, he's big boss. I'm big. He's big. <laughs> he's big boss. He don't look too big though. I guess uh, tall, but not. Give like, it time. I'll get big. How do you actually do that? How do you stay fit working here? Uh, Owning here. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. I eat two or three meals here a day. I don't know. So what do you eat to stay fit here? Uh, What's your meal? What's your normal meal? I'm a turkey man. Oh, but, but, but days I wake up and I gotta go for shawmy on rye with mustard. I can't. You can't. I, I have to. It's an obligation or you really like it? Oh, I love it. All right. No, I crave it. I wake up and I crave the shawmy. Wait, that's... Even, even after being here my whole life, I'm I still a foodie. crave I'm a foodie and I still find that slightly disturbing. Don't. It's, this is the best pastrami you're ever going to find. No, I know. I've, eaten it. I mean, I've eaten it so many times, but I've, I've moved on to roast beef. I found the pastrami. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, anyway, on, on to other things. Yeah. Okay. We do. We make our own roast beef as well. You make everything your own. We no? do everything ourselves. Uh, we actually go through on the pastrami about 12,000 pounds a week. 12,000 uh, pounds. 12, pounds. How many cows is 12,000 pounds of five? Five cows. Five or six. They're okay. really big cows. <laughs> um, we go through about six to 8,000 pounds of corned beef. Um, a week we go through, uh, you know, between the hot dogs, the knubble yeah. the salamis, and everything. When you total in all the meat in this place, you can go through anywhere from 20 to 25,000 pounds a week. 25,000 pounds. That's right. So how many people sitting, sitting in here right now? How many, how many uh, tables? We got about 300 people in here right 300. Now. And so, how many people in a day are in here? It's a slow day. It's a slow day. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're I've been waiting, here waiting many for the lunch rush. We're waiting line. for the lunch rush to come. For the lunch rush. Yeah. This is the pre lunch rush. Exactly. That's why I'm here talking to you guys. That's probably right. So, how much, uh, how many seats, how many, how many tables a day do you put in on a good your average day? Uh, I mean, I'll give you people instead. How about this? Okay, you sure. You can see anywhere from on a slow winter day. Five to seven hundred people in a okay. day. All right. Um, on a busy on a day, on average, you figure about two thousand. Okay. Um, a, a one to two thousand on the weekend. That number goes up to about four thousand. All right. What's um, the ratio of tourists to to, to city? Depends. It honestly depends on the day of the week, on the season, on everything like that. Uh, All right. You gotta get to work, don't you? No. Uh, You're okay. Good. You're good. Um, the uh, we go through, uh, you know, weekends are tourist heavy, and by tourist that includes the the tri-state area tourists, oh, the, sure. the people, people coming in for families, exactly. You know, the weekly or monthly pilgrimage to Katz's. Sure, sure, sure. You know, I, those aren't tourists, but they're the tri-state tourists. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We, we would call that. them tourists. So. They're not tourists. They're tri-staters. Yeah. Um, so we get that on weekends a lot. Tourists come in uh, mostly weekends as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Hey, let me ask you a question. Yeah. What's the best kind of customer here? If I, if I want to come here and get treated extra nice, or does everybody get treated the same? No, we hate everyone. Good. So it's equal, equal. Yeah. Right, but we don't, we don't like customers here. No. The motto is the customer is always wrong. And, and that's because the food is always... Because the food's always right. right that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now let's talk pickles. Yes. Uh, we make our own pickles. As well. well, of course. We have the half sours and the full sours. Yes. So I want to talk. I want to talk about the full sours. Okay. <clears throat> they My take about a month to make. Yeah. Okay. All right. And what's the ratio of people if they're choosing sour or half sour? What are they taking more? Juice or non-juice? Let's go with three categories. First, juice. Then wannabe juice, and then non-juice. All right. So juice. Juice. 75 to 90 percent one full sour. 70. Okay, so the shiks are over here. The shiks are <laughs> likes the half sour. Who's my exactly. wife? But she she converted. So she she. Be, uh, Am I a wannabe? wannabe? You're a wannabe. The wannabes are 50 50. Okay. Uh, um, my, the, my the pure goyim are like are like 75 percent. The pure half goyim. Sour. 75 percent half sour. Okay. And right. the crazy old Jews are uh, some love tomatoes, pickled tomatoes. Pickled tomatoes. I love and pickled tomatoes. Celery. With uh, you know, canova or sandwich, uh, canish, plate of sauerkraut, and they're good to go. Perfect. They're good to go. Yeah, I pick on my own tomatoes, green tomatoes, because the squirrels get to all of mine when they get a little kind of orange and start to turn. Gotcha. So I pull them off a little early gotcha. and pickle them, and they really are. They retain that like hard yeah. flesh, you know. You really can get a meaty bite. Yeah. I can't freaking believe I'm talking to fifth generation <laughs> cats.